once again i am here before you very warm good morning to all of you myself dr yugesh kumar assistant professor in philosophy ncc officer nodal officer ek bharat shreshth bharat club gomi degree college punch extend my warm welcome on behalf of professor mh shah sir principal gomi degree college punch professor dr n pawneshwari principal apa college for women plani tamil nadu and dr r kalarasai director of physical education ncc officer and nodal officer ek bharat shreshth bharat club apa college tamil nadu i feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to professor dr indu pandey khanduri hod department of philosophy director staff college hembati nandan bahuguna garhwal central university i heartily welcome professor khadam hussain convener iqac government degree college punch and his counterpart in apa college for women plani tamil nadu i feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to dr s m shahani sir professor a d padma shri ma'am mrs j sharmila and professor shahzad bande who all are our resource person in 3d 3 day program with a feeling of great pleasure and honor i welcome all the teaching faculty of different institutes of india and students of apa college in gdc punch now i welcome two most prestigious personalities of teaching fraternity who deliver uh, their prestigious lectures to us in this 3 day program today the first is dr m vijay shanti assistant professor department of history fatima college madurai tamil nadu she will discuss with us about the culture and heritage of tamil nadu tamil culture and heritage is one of world's ancient most culture its art architecture temples literature is richest not only in india but in the world dr vijay shanti ma'am we all are excited to listen your talk about the richest culture of india in the world i welcome professor lalit mangotra sir recipient of sahitya academy award and best book award and a person of international repute who gives a lot to the dogri culture and language in particular and jammu and kashmir and india in general professor mangotra will discuss with us the culture and heritage of jammu and kashmir the culture of jammu and kashmir is composite of four cultures dogri culture kashmiri culture pahadi culture and gojri culture which provides a unique feature to the culture and heritage of jammu and kashmir and of india jammu and kashmir is a composite mixture of world's ancient most sanatan culture of lalit aditya's time buddhist and jain culture of raj the kanishk time medieval times culture of shankaracharya and the bhakti movement and modern culture of sufism mughal architecture as well as the influence of 10 gurus of sikhism it has the most diverse culture from vedic era to present day sir we have a lot to learn today thanks you all once again very warm welcome to all of you thank you very much 
have a good day. I am Dr. Vijay Shanti, Department of History, Fatima College, Madurai. Let us see the culture and heritage of Tamil Nadu. Before we are going to know about the culture and heritage, we have to see the geographical and cultural historical background of Tamil Nadu. First, geographical features. Tamil Nadu is the sixth largest state in India. It has 1,30,058 km area and 72,147,30 population and it has 38 districts. The important rivers in Tamil Nadu are Kaviri, Vaihai, Tamrabarani, Noyal, Palaru, etc. And it has the important hill stations, Kodakanal, Nilgris, Palani, Onamalai, Pudigai, Kardamam and Servarayan hills. And Tamil Nadu shares its boundaries with the neighbor states, Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra and Puducherry. The state symbols of Tamil Nadu. This is the first picture shows the state emblem of Tamil Nadu. The emblem has the Sri Viliputu Randa temple with the slogan, The Truth Alone Trumps. In Tamil term, Tamil Nadu Arasu Vaimaya Villam. That means truth alone gets successful in all the time. And next is the dance of state, Bardhanatiyam. And the state animal is Nilgiri Thar. And the state bird is emerald dove and the state flower glories are lily and the state fruit is jackfruit and the state tree is palmera tree and the state sport is kabadi. Why they are taking this nail gridar and emerald dove and a palmera tree as their state symbols because it are in endangered species. So they want to protect and preserve. Uh, they have to choose their state symbols. And next, the historical background of Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu was to be ruled by different dynasties and it has a vast history. After the prehistoric period, it was ruled in the Sangam period by Movendas, Cheras, Cholas and Pandyas. The three kingdoms with along with some smaller chief towns called as Velirs. The first Pandyan Empire, second Pandyan. After uh, the Chera, Chola, Pandyas, the Kalabras were ruled the Tamil country. Then the Pallavas entered into the Tamil soil and ruled over here. Then early Pandya, early Chera, early Cholas and later Cholas, first Pandian Empire and second Pandian Empire were ruled. And Tamil Nadu also not exemption of the Muslim invasion. And then the Vijayanagar dynasty got ruled over in Tamil Nadu. After that, their subordinates Naiks were to be ruled as three kingdoms, Chenji Naiks, Madra Naiks and Tanjur Naiks. Tanjur Marathas also ruled over here in some years. Then the Tamil Nadu came under the control of colonial rule. The British East India Company took charge of Madras presidency. And after the independence, the government of India joined Tamil Nadu. In 1969, the name Madras Presidency was changed as Tamil Nadu. And they were the chief ministers of Tamil Nadu, starts from P.S. Kumaraswamy Raja, then the politics Chanakya, Rajagobala Chari, and the kingmaker Kamraj the Congress leader Bhakta Bachalam and the Dravidian leader Anathurai, Nedun Chalian, M.G. Ramachandran, Karunanidhi, Janagi Ramachandran, Jailalita and later Panir Chalvam, Edapadi K. Palani Swami and at present M.K. Stalin were the chief ministers of Tamil Nadu. And the uniqueness of Tamil Nadu we see everything has its own uniqueness. Like Tamil Nadu has also its unique. And some uniques we are seeing the Nadugal or Hero Stone. Nadugal were erected to commemorate the warriors and heroes of Tamil people and they have to celebrate their victories and they have to give respect to particular people. They erected hero stones and nadugal and some inscriptions, copper plates are also the special features of Tamil Nadu. Next is Marina Beach. It is the second largest beach in the world and it also have economic importance. Then the third picture shows rock fort of Trichy and on the top it has Ganesh temple and down also a highway temple and it has a 
great fort on the top of the hill and next is alanganallur jallikattu is the unique feature of tamil festival some of the youngsters has to be catch the bull in uh, on the time of uh, pongal celebrations the familiar place is alanganallur in madurai and next is madurai meenakshi temple it is an important heritage site and it has a lofty cobras and a huge pillars and a great mural paintings and lotus pond etc and different kind of mandapas are to be here in the temple and next is mamallapuram it is a wonder of south india chishor temple monolithic ratas and the sculptures were all beauty and attractive in this place next is pomman bridge of rameshwaram without this the railway bridge and the cement bridge the road bridge the rameshwaram was an island it uh, joined the Ram, ramna district and rameshwaram that uh, moving uh, the pomban bridge by train or rail uh, or rail is a very good experience to see the beauty of the ocean in very nearby and the bridge also have a special thing it is open when the time of uh, ship has to be came that is also a unique feature of tamil nadu and tanjur doll is also another important thing in tamil country the uh, always the doll shaken his head like this and this when the by the influence of air uh, but it was not goes down and the kanji silk a very softy silk uh, was also a familiar one it was so softy and gives the richness to the people who are wear this that's are all the uniqueness of tamil nadu apart from this homemade chocolates of uti and kodaikanal and the temples uh, like uh, kanji kamakshi temple arthanarishwara temple at kumbakonam cholishwara temple at kuttalam and tirukutrala nadeshwara temple at kuttalam nelayappar temple tirunelveli tyagaraja swami temple at tiruvaru chidambaram nadraja temple pragadishwara temple and kamakshi amman temple at kanji kashi vishwanatha temple at kumbakonam and santom cathedral basilica uh, at Uh, St Thomas Mount Velangani Church at Velangani Na Nagur Darga Koripalayam Darga uh, and then Semerish Church St George Cathedral and museums palaces fort were all uh, give important uniqueness of Tamil Nadu and is also give a good attraction to the Tamil people as in the point of tourist attractions these uniqueness they the great weight for the tourist attractions culture has more to do with behavior and way of living heritage is traditionally following manners the tamils are generally speaking a very active and enterprising race and the tamil society has a long tradition from sangam age to present their culture depends on their environment economy and community their complexion varies from non brown to black and some of them in yellow unit and they have commonly small forehead and thinner face and hands or finger shaped their hair and eyes are always black and they led a very simple life they were the hard working people and give importance to hospitality first we know about the culture and heritage first we see the food what is the food culture of people tamil nadu traditional food items were very healthy spicy and tasty and medicinal value tamil people always give importance to food and hospitality <coughs> and tamil cuisine is one of the oldest culinary heritage in the world tamil nadu is famous for its deep belief that serving food to others is a service to humanity including birds and animals thayumanavar assign said vaadi payirai kanda bodellam vaadinen that means he felt when he see the uh, plants are to be very sad 
So different varieties of vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes are prepared in Tamil Nadu. It is characterized by the use of rice, legumes and lentils. It is also healthy and tasty. Its distinct aroma and flavor is achieved by the blending of flavor and spices including curry leaves, mustard seeds, coriander, uh, chinnamon cloves, green cardamom, cumin, nut, mug and coconut. The ancient Madurai town exported large quantity of pepper to Rome and Roman women were very fond of uh, uh, Madurai pepper and they have cooking without pepper. How much they liked the pepper usage and the traditional food is served on banana leaves on all occasions even it is a good occasion or a bad occasion they have to be served food in the banana leaf and rice is the staple food for Tamils and the traditional cuisines including those are idli, vadai, pongal with sambar, rasam and kut, aviyal, chutney and poriyal and some kind of cool that is prepared by uh, ragi, kambu, cholam like that and trinalveli halwa is a familiar uh, familiar uh, snacks of Tamil Nadu and Kolukattai put uh, here some pictures shown the vada paniyaram, kuli paniyaram that is in the a small barrow was to be there in the uh, the paniyaram floor was to be put in and it has to be cooked and the kali is in the fourth picture uh, eat along with the um, curd, onion and other things and the uh, fifth picture shows the vatal, type of vatals made by chili, uh, jawarasi and uh, some more uh, things, uh, uh, rice flour and other things and the uh, next picture shows the kolukatai made with the palm leaves. The, uh, the flour was to be put stuck into the palm leaves and it's to be tied and it to be cooked in the idli cooker and it should be served to eat. Healthy and sweet pal kolakatai made with the rice flour and that is pidi kolakatai. We have to pick it like a handful of um, thing and these are all very traditionally uh, prepared with a um, lot of things so with a jaggery or a sugar can something and uh, put sundal paruti pal the cotton milk. That also very good and it is very good for cold. The second picture and the first picture shows Adirasam that Paratipal that is cotton milk and the next picture shows Shik Jigadanda that is made with the ice cream, essence and the milk and other important things good for health. And the Payasam, sugar can juice and Muruku. The next picture shows muruk and put the different kinds of puttus were all to be special features of Tamil food items. And the Chedinadu region is famous for its spicy non-vegetarian guzai and Tamil Nadu is also famous for its kumbakona filter coffee. Filter coffee means the coffee seeds roasted and ground it and boiled after 15 minutes. The coffee decoction was collected in the lower container and filter and it is taken added with the milk with the sugar and served very hot and so absolute tasty and rahi, kambu, cholam were also used to prepare some eatable things and eating of beetle nuts with areka nut was a symbol of dignity after every occasions and we see the vegetables all kind of vegetables were taken by Tamil people and it also got it from various places hilly region and other regions the all kind of vegetables was taken by them and the bitter leaves, uh, bitter nut and uh, reka nut, supari, chunnam was served after the food and always they have to be uh, served the food in the banana leaf along like this uh, the photograph shows like this and uh, next is the dress the dhoti or waist tea worn with a 
three tuckings or five tuckings with upper shirt the panjakacha pattern of five tuckings tied around their waist uh, the rich and high class traders politicians give importance to wear this the white shirts and white dhotis and angavastra like the towel they have to put it on their right side right side shoulder uh, and the women prefer to wear silk sarees on special occasions uh, kanji silks arani silk tirupuvanam silk were familiar silks in tamil nadu but normally they used to wear cotton and synthetic sarees and fabrics and most of them used to wear different dresses uh, for day and night for men we are lungis on night times and uh, uh, pant shirts or dhotis on the day times uh, the young girls wear half sari or davani it is in the last picture the davani uh, or half sari they are preferred to wear but nowadays uh, by the influence of western culture they are also we are um, salwars and chudidars are the things but that is the traditional dress of our young girls and brahmin women uh, wore a wear a sari in the style of madisa and the village women wore the sari uh, in the model of kosumam and the sungadi sari was also uh, on the uh, left first picture on the second row the sungadi sari is very familiar in tamil nadu especially in madurai city and these were give a very soft uh, feelings to wear the sarees and usually it is familiar to wear by elder people next the ornaments different kind of ornaments were worn by both men and women um, from the ancient period they give preference to wear ornaments um, for them the married women uh, but in previous day the metti nowadays the metti was worn by the women but on the earlier stage the metti was worn by men because the always women was walking to see the ground and walk they have to know the person has to be married only to wear the metti on on his uh, leg so that uh, they find out this person is married uh, like the men to see the tali like this uh, chain uh to see the people uh, the the women has to be married like they followed the customs <clears throat> uh from the head to the foot they wore different kind of ornaments uh, cap on the top of the ears the pekai navattam or pambadam or tandatti they have to wear on the second picture shows the cylindrical type of ornaments made with the gold and other some materials um, prepared ornament uh, this is a traditional ornament of uh, the ear lobe ornament of the women and hair ornament katha vilai or netri chutti they seen that and various types of necklace kasumalai pearl kasumalai it is in the last row second picture resembles the kasumalai the coins were to be um were to be caught in the chain were to be joined in the chains and muttumalai the pearl garland and uh, uh, some uh, the stone garland attigai the waist ornament and ottiyanam that is known as uh, waist belt ottiyanam and uh, the rockery was uh, was put it on their head that are all um, the important um, ornaments they have to wear feet and anklets and toes bracelets ring and chains were worn by the men mostly the ornaments were made by gold and silver uh, the gold chains and pearls rubies emerald were also to be used to make ornaments marriage birch or tali was common to all women is differ in size design and shape and from the caste to caste community to community some of the communities were the yellow thread uh, and uh, yellow thread and on the center they have to uh, join this tali and some of the communities where we are the chains and that center they have to be 
join the tali models are to be shown here the meenakshi shokar in south southern parts of tamil nadu and madurai and uh, the sun and moon of some communities and the uh, vaishnavaist people wear the perumal symbol the namam symbol um, tali worn by the people uh, so these are the different types of talis and the bangles the different types of bangles were also to be worn by made by gold silver and um, um glass the popular with all women but poor women mostly wore on the uh, glass bang bangles muslims and christian women and men also fond of jewels they also wore the same jewels like uh, tamil um, other hindu people and the hindu men like to wear rudraksham then the tattooing is uh, another culture of tamil people tattooing the the corner uh, picture resembles it the korava women practiced it as a profession along with fortune telling the um, foreign costume cosmetics items also used to by the people of tamil nadu from the ancient times and the warriors of ancient period used a typical form of dress suited for military and amusements next is amusements they were very popular amusements the people were enjoy the life the tamil people always finish their works and they have to enjoy with lot of uh, games both traditional folk games and other uh, things the tamil people give importance to entertainments to spend their spare and leisure times uh, they have uh, enjoy with the cock fighting goat fighting bull fighting chariot racing were popular amusements of them and the jallikattu or manju virattu is an important entertainment of tamil people top killi uh, pallanguli ludo snake and ladder kummi kolattam sottangal and pattam tip cat kitty and marbles uh, etc were some of the traditional games of tamil nadu here the shows first picture shows pallanguli and second one snake and ladder and third one it is seen in the jain beds uh, we see that is adupuli atam Uh, the cat and the adupuli atam that is goat and the tiger and the pachagudre the next game is the boys or uh, one boy is down another was jumping and next is the uh, played with the marbles chotangal and chilak and they have to played with the goli and this is the game known as tayam skipping vettu tayam kanamuchi and uh, gilli and that is known as pambaram a top game and these were the uh, games they played uh, very interestingly that kallamanna kannamuchi uh, that's uh, that are the popular traditional games of tamil nadu houses of tamil people the majority of the people being poor lived in mud and thatched huts with thatched roofs of uh, palmera leaves and rich people had a palestial house with all amenities available then and each house is built with thin ice for poor to take rest and other house people also also to be uh, sit and talk so all houses built along with the thin ice in the first picture resembles this and after the 19th century the building of house methods were to be changed uh, to see the colonial models they have built the bungalow models and other things um, uh, the culture of constructing houses were started from the keeladi excavation we see the keeladi excavation the building construction models the houses with all the facilities Uh, they have to build the ring well also to be attached in the house we see in the picture the ring wells uh, all the houses have its own wells and drainage system uh, and the thatched shed model also to be given and uh, at present the model houses are to be there and all the houses were built before that the puja was conducted and the housewarming ceremony 
was to be celebrated even in the Muslim houses and the Christian houses also to be started with the prayers, offers and worship. Uh, this is the housing system of Tamil Nadu and the ceremonies from the birth to death, from the cradle to grave, the people celebrated different kind of ceremonies. Uh, from the birth, uh, when the baby born, the time was to be marked and write the astrology by the astronomers and the first feed was uh, given by the good and elder person and the auspicious person of the family with the sweet water by gold, uh, gold things or the pen or silver. And the 16th or the 30th day they conducted the naming ceremony uh, will be conducted that till that the mother uh, was to be separated and she didn't touch anything else and she li lives separately at home. By the third month the women take on their baby and go to their bridegroom's house. And uh, the next stage is the attorney property ceremony for the girl fed when the girl attaining the property, she was fed with a sweet banana and egg. And the maternal uncle's wife gave a bath to the girl, a property girl and the chadangu, the function was to be celebrated. And the next is marriage ceremonies. Marriage was to be celebrated in a grand manner. Uh, marriage was considered a sac sacred. The ancient type of marriage was called as karpu. Uh, and Kalavu, the Tamil literature tells as uh, some type of marriages was to be preferred in ancient period. And child marriage was also followed in cer certain periods of ancient Tamil Lagam. The engagement, the Parisam, uh, also known as betrothal, was to be celebrated in some uh, communities. They said Puvaitan. They, uh, they have to fix it and conducting a small ceremony. That is known as Paisam, uh, engagement or betrothal. Some of them celebrated in the previous day of their marriage. It depends upon the community and their uh, economic status. And in the Sangam age, the bridegroom's father gave some gifts to the bride's uh, bride family. But later, the dowry system was to be followed among the people. And um, <clears throat> both the Vedic type of marriages and the self respect marriages were following in Tamil society. The first picture resembles the Vedic type of marriages and the second type is self-respect marriage. In the self-respect marriage, marriage some of the elder or a um, auspicious person take the tali or the garland to the bridegroom and he was tied around the neck of a bride and both of them say their opinion in front of the people uh, in the mic. They have to say the samadam that means I accept the marriage and I will also follow and I will come along with them till the end of us life. They have to give the acceptance in front of the people. Then they have to exchange the garland and they tie up the, uh, the chain, the tali and they exchange some rings in Christian marriages. And uh, the next thing is they have to take that like fleets, uh, the banana with the leaf, the garland sari to the bride uh, bride was taken by the sisters of the bridegroom and the uh, engagement time they have to exchange the turmeric and salt uh, the metal uncles to be exchanged this and in the self-respect marriage they have to change the garlands three times and when the bridegroom entered the bride's uh, Mandaba or the houses, they have to take Arati by the sisters and sister-in-laws of the bride. Uh, that is known as Arati. That means the evil eyes are to be do not affect the bridegroom. So they are taken the Arati. But basically the thing is in the earlier times the marriage was to be undertaken in the evening or night times for giving the light to the bridegroom. Uh, they have to take an uh, Arati. It is a uh, research oriented and uh, the tie up the thali in the chain and some communities wear the thali in the yellow thread and the same way the christians exchange the bibles on the betrothal and how to be um, put thali in the cross symbols were to be there 
and some Muslims also to follow the same thing and they have to uh, put the black color threads and beads on their um, thali. And the next is uh, after the marriage, the girl uh, went into the bridegroom's house and stayed at that. And next, the Simandam or Valaikapu was to be celebrated most probably in the ninth month or in the seventh month of month. The in-laws take some uh, initial uh, rituals on the time. And uh, after delivering a baby, the ninth month or the eleventh month, the tonsuring ceremony was to be undertaken. The baby was sat on the lap of the maternal uncle. And they have to ear boring also. Some community have to uh, take that ear boring ceremony is in a grand, grand manner after some years at the age of 5 or 7 or 10 something. And then after that, uh, before Bhupati function, some of the girls has given the Tamani Podigal celebration, that half sari wearing ceremony. The girl was given by the half sari by the maternal uncles. And next, when the girl attained the puberty, the, um, the maternal uncle and uh, aunt given some uh, the things, the sari and other things to the uh, girl. And then the marriage ceremonies were to be uh, done in a grand manner and somewhere at simple manner. The self-respect marriages has to be introduced in the 19th century end and the 20th century by the influence of uh, uh, E.V. Ramasamy Periya, uh, the self-respect marriages were, were to be numbered in Tamil country and uh, the funeral ceremonies, funeral ceremonies also <coughs> give importance in Tamil Nadu after the death of the people, some uh, rituals and ceremonies given uh, salvation to the people they, they, they believed. So in the uh, previous years that in the excavation of Adichan Allur and uh, Arika Medu, we see some Mudumakkal Thalis apart, separately prepared for the uh, death uh, corpse. And Mudumakkal Thali, dolmens, plaqueware batteries were to be used for this. And the funeral ceremonies uh, were done by mostly the uh, sons of the uh, deceased person after the death of the person, the corpse was given a bath and kept into the bamboo stick ornamented uh, party, that is a death bird. And the man, uh, men, uh, the sons and the grandsons take nirmalai on the mud part and uh, they have to, uh, uh, take, that is known as nirmalai or the, the sembu, sembu editor. And by that water, they have to bath the corpse. And uh, then the Piranda Idathu Kodi and the Pukunda Idathu Kodi was given to the uh, wife of the deceased person. Then it was taken to the funeral and the elder son to the funeral fire. The next day the Sastram was to be given. Uh, on the time the maternal uncles and in-laws uh, take the dresses for the sons and uh, daughters of the deceased person. Then every year they offer the prayers, worship and offer the foods they like most as padayal. In front of their photograph, they have to keep the banana leaf and what are the eatables they like most. They have to keep it and uh, uh, worship it. The ancestral worship on every anniversary is an important uh, occasion in Tamil Nadu. And um, Islam Christian people also follow some western idea, ideals and also following the Tamil culture. Uh, they have they separate uh, cultures uh, based on the Quran and the Bible. And uh, next to the funeral ceremonies, uh, some beliefs and superstitious uh, superstitions also to be followed. But in the previous times, lot of beliefs and bad omens, bad superstitions were to be the evil of the society but after the entrance of the justice party dravidian movement that superstitions was to be declined and they have believed in dreams and omens and lizard tripping considered as asuriri and the hooting of owl 
and lizard shipping was to be considered as a bad one or uh, which part falling of a lizard on a particular portion of the body it, it falls on the head or it falls on the hand whatever it is they have to be uh, have particular belief on that uh, thing uh, that pretends good or evil to him the part of the body which it falls and uh, which day it falls monday or tuesday or that also foretell about the good or evil to uh, known about them and uh, they keeping and tying some things in front of the house like chili lemons padika aloe vera and bunch of neem leaves mango leaves and avaram and kurai ku leaves the leaves are also to be kept it on the um, in front of the houses and the doors uh, they have a belief that they all protect the house from the insects and the cat crossed in front of them when they are going to the outside that considered as a bad omen and they also kept the pumpkin with designed with like a demon and they also put it on their uh, top of the house uh, house wall so these are all some uh, omens uh, the uh, coin of crow indicated the arrival of the guests and the village sites having a different kinds of beliefs and they have put column on uh, on the on in front of the house with the rice floor they have a belief that the rice floor is uh, uh, eaten by the insects and ants so they have considered column is one of the important thing and it is a special that dots uh, that to be used to make a column that is an important uh, belief of the people so each and every uh, house has to be uh, decorated with a kolam in front of the house and uh, next is um, festivals tamil nadu is having a, a large number of festivals in every 12 months of a year they have celebrated different kind of festivals uh, apart from the general festivals like diwali po Deepavali, Christmas, New Year, and the Republic Day, National Day celebrations, Vinayaka Chaturthi, and other celebrations. They have their own separate celebrations and festivals. Tamil Nadu have a uh, traditional festivals and celebrations. So, what are the different celebrations uh, of Tamil Nadu? We are coming to know about it. The festivals of Tamil Nadu, Tamil year have twelve months. Uh, the each month has have its celebrations by tamil people the chitra uh, let us see the tamil festivals now tamil calendar has 12 months and all the 12 months have special occasions they are celebrating chitrai festival vaikasi visagam aadi perukku kartigai theepam and margali paavai nombu tai pongal maasi magam and panguni uttram so each and every month of 12 months having 12 Uh, different type of uh, folk festivals and traditional festivals and all the festivals are celebrating with worshiping the lord sun family deity and ancestors they are celebrating with musical instruments flowers turmeric holy ash kumkum and country banana and betel leaves and areca nut because they are all very sacred they are considering very sacred and they all having a ethical value and the occasions and the festivals they wear new dresses clean and decorate their homes and conducting pujas mostly the men elder men of the family conducting pujas in all the festivals and the first tamil and uh, first and foremost special festival of tamil nadu is pongal the harvesting festival celebrating in the month of thai that is january and in the tamil calendar thai uh, the first new year day of uh, first day of uh, thai was celebrating as pongal the previous day was known as bogi pongal on that bogi pongal that was considered as four day celebrations the first day bogi pongal they uh, burned the waste things and celebrated um, to wash out 
uh, and clean their home and whitewashed and clean everything in their house on the Pongal day that is Thai day celebrated uh, also known as Surya Pongal. Surya Pongal they offer turmeric, sugar can, uh, coconut, uh, panankilank and kumkum uh, and the Pongal that uh, made by the first rice they harvested and they were new dressers and enjoy the vegetation feast and the houses were cleaned and decorated with flowers and other things and the second day of the Pongal was known as Smart Pongal uh, they, the that uh, on the Pongal days they have uh, made the kolam with rice flour uh, that white paste um, with the uh, white paste was to be prepared by the rice and they have to put known as ma kolam that is used for the feed of the insects and the Mata Pongal uh, celebrated uh, dedicated to, to the cattle and they prepared meals for cows and bullocks and other farm animals what they are um, cat uh, what they are rearing uh, uh, with the freshly harvested grain and the day the famous Jalikatu was held in Madurai Trichrapalli and Tanjavur and especially the Avanyaburam and Alanganalur Jalikatu in Madurai are very world famous celebrations and the next pongal is kanum pongal kanum means visit to see also called as karinal or valluvar day that day the people are going uh, to elders home and get blessings from the grandmas grandfathers fathers and mothers and they spend time in parks beach zoo museums and other place then their home they visit and enjoy the day with the celebrations and the Pongal finished with a very happily on the four days they are celebrating after taking the rest, uh, the harvest. And every month they celebrate festivals, uh, first Thai Pongal and then the Thai Pusan, the day celebrated and Teppa Tiruvula was celebrated, that uh, celebration uh, was uh, doing in um, Madurai the great city and the traditional city uh, the birthday of uh, the king nayak king tirumalai nayak was celebrated at teppa tiruvila on the vandiyur mariamman teppakulam the float festival was celebrated the car chariot the car was uh, very much decorated and it float on the that uh, temple tank and uh, next is masi maham it was celebrated uh, <coughs> Uh, once in uh, 12 years it is a very huge festival and uh, it attracted the pilgrims from all over the India all of them taking bath here and get blessings from the Lord and then uh, the Chitra Paurnami the next is Chitra uh, Panguni Uttaram the celebration uh, doing on the month of Panguni uh, that is uh, March or April it will come uh, the Panguni Uttram they have to be take Kaveri or Pal Kudam and then they have to take that uh, the veil like the Lord Murga's weapon they have to keep it on their mouth or hand or shoulder somewhere and uh, offered and dedicated to Lord Murga that is celebrated as Panguni Uttram and next is Chitra Paurnami on that uh, year the Chitra festival was celebrated in a grand manner at Madurai. The 10 days festival was celebrated and it uh, has a marriage ceremony, holy uh, celestial wedding of Meenakshi and Sokar and then the uh, car festival. Then the uh, Kalalahar Vaihai uh, enter into the river Vaihai that are all celebrated in Chitra Paurnami. And then Vaihasi Visaham was celebration uh, that milk pot was taken by the devotees of Lord Muruga and went on to the six abodes of Lord Muruga and then the celebration is Adi Perik. On the Adi Perik they are celebrating um, uh, to worship the nature and they have to be celebrated in front of the rivers and they welcomed usually that was celebrated in uh, the Tanjur and Trichy districts they welcomed the river Kaviri to uh, enhance the cultivation and they have uh, see the first picture the ladies are taking Arati and they put offerings to the river Kaviri 
and they welcomed the river and on the day they have a feeling that so auspicious and whatever thing we have to started in this day that will be uh, multiplied and increased and then the next is avani avitam then the kartikai thibam was to be celebrated in this tirumala tiruvannamalai temple they have to take on the kartikai thibam day and the devotees or went to that place and see that and then the kartika festival and the all the homes decorated with a different kind of lights and they have to put kolam inside the house and outside the house and they have to be kept the different types of uh, lights Uh, called akal vilak or vilak kutu vilak and then they kept it and uh, they uh, they have to shown uh, to the other houses also and in front of the house they have to keep it and they are celebrating with the crackers also and that margali nomb also known as pavai nomb and this was celebrated on the background the uh, andal the wife of uh, lord krishna that is known as kodai and she was uh, fast during the month of margali for getting a good uh, husband that same way that tradition was to be followed the unmarried girls are uh, taken the fast on this month uh, the belief that they are they they have to get the good husband uh, in future so that the uh, month fully they have to take uh, wake up early in the morning uh, nearly 4 o'clock uh, uh, before that and they have to put the colorful columns on the streets and the men are doing bhajans and they have to roaming the around the temple and its surrounding processions they sang a song and bhajans and the women put columns and they started the worship and in front of the house they light the lamps and uh, uh, in the scientific uh, think we have to come to know the ozone layer comes down on that uh, month so it is good for health of the people's um, oxidation so they have to follow the system we felt so tamil people have different kind of festivals celebrating in all the months this shows their enthusiasm and uh, and uh, give importance to celebrate the rituals and functions always they have to give importance take new dresses and uh, with the good uh, delicious foods also prepared on the month uh, day of kartikeya they prepared payasam on the day of pongal they prepared a sweet pongal uh, and uh, sweet pongal they have to prepared an adi perukku they are uh, preparing adirasam and murukku and different types of uh, food also prepared on that particular festivals uh, so these shows their enjoyment and interest to celebrate the festivals art and architecture played an important role in the history of tamil people tamil nadu is a land known for uh, temples more than 33000 temples in tamil country and they found scattered in all the all over the state uh, and it's studded with a complex architecture variety of sculpture and rich inscriptions and the temples remain the very essence of the culture and heritage of tamil country with historical records dating back to at least 3000 years ago uh, thousands of temples with lofty towers and they are the star torch bearers of the glorious heritage of tamil speaking region and or repositories of magnificent art forms that evolved over several centuries and uh, tamil nadu architecture is based on its a source of dravidian architecture and the temples were constructed uh, important centers like madurai trichy kanji uh, tanjore and attracted the common people the temples served as the powerful social and economic entity and a source of inspiration to the people and tamil nadu temples possessed a tamil nadu temples possessed with fortress treasury and court houses parks fairs exhibition sets and hall of learning and the temples also acted 
as a center a relief to the poor people and uh, the lower people uh, are having the property to keep the property in the temples and the temples were built in more numbers than the palace of the kings uh, they were built by different dynasties from the sangam pandyas to till the present as a government and everybody contribute their own style of architecture for this art and architecture why they are con constructing lot of temples first purpose is for religious purpose apart from that they have to build temples for different purposes and they construct a lot of temples along with the temple tanks each temple have mandapas tank sanctum vimana and cobra uh, 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 apart from the architecture the people were very fond of uh, fine arts like music dance kummi kolattam kavadi puraviyattam and other fine, fine arts also and first we come to the architecture of tamil nadu uh, we have see different kind of architecture dravidian nahara indo saracenic architecture gothic style of architecture was to be followed by in, in tamil nadu constructions and they built temples forts tanks palaces mandapas irrigation dams jain beds chowdhuris and madas were built in different places of tamil nadu and first we come to the pandya empire there were two divisions of pandya empire first pandyan empire and second pandyan empire in the first pandyan empire the buildings were very simple and in the first picture is an example of the kodumbalur and the second picture of narthamalai shows a very simple and square type architecture we have to see here and down uh, we see the first second pandyan empire cave architecture tripramundram temple uh, it was it was built in the caves and then the very next picture is the vetuvan kalugumalai temple a very famous jain center that all shown the cave architecture of pandyan empire and they were well versed to construct the cave temples and the second pandyan empire gave importance to build the simple towers uh, that is sigaras and they were the pioneers of nayaks to build different temples in tamil nadu anai malai narasingha temple and tirupurangundram temple were the finest examples of pandya period cut out temples and structural temples were built during the first pandyan empire and second pandyan empire after that the pandyan empire the very famous uh, architecture was chola architecture karigala chola a famous chola king built kalanai dam before 2000 years ago still it gave the life of the thousands of cultivators and the next is tanjore big temple that is pragadeshwara temple it is it, it is a wonder and marvelous of uh, construction and it has a special features it has and the tarasuram temple and then the temple construction is um, based on the ragha type of construction and the cholas were very much interested to build a various type of temples in and around the tanjore district the kumbakonam temples and the tanjore temples were built during the period of cholas and then the very next Uh, and the efficient architecture is pallava architecture during the period of pallavas rock cut rock cut temples monolithic ratas and shrines and the structural temples shiso temple of mamalapuram and rajasimhan style and nandivarman style was followed by pallavas and they how to built a different shape and they how to take their own style of architecture so we see the kailasanatha temple at kanji uh, at the first picture and in the second picture we see the siso temple of uh, mamalapuram and and down the cave temple and the next picture is mamalapuram 
Ratas. Uh, these were the specimen of Pallava architecture. They how to initiate to build the construction by stone. Purely stone was used for the construction during the period of Pallavas. And next to the Cholas, second Cholas, the later Cholas built the large size of temples and the huge temples with lofty cobras and prakaras and mandabas were built after Pallavas. The, then the Vijayanagar rule came to Madurai, uh, Vijayanagar came, rule came to Tamil Nadu and they contribute their own thing. And the Vijayanagar rulers, <coughs> after uh, the rule uh, followed by Nayaks and the three Nayak kingdoms, Chenji Nayaks, Madra Nayaks and Tanjur Nayaks, contributed their own uh, construction in their respective regions. And the first picture shows Nalayapur temple and it is the uh, finest temple in the South India. And the next is Thiruvaya temple and the uh, Next one is the lofty cobras Minadre Minakshiaman temple and it down the palace of Trimlai Nayak and the next picture is Senji Fort and the next one is Tanju Maratha's palace was built during the period and the Nayaks built high towers with pillar mandabas. Thousand pillar mandabas was the finest example of Nayak architecture. The thousands of pillars to be stand and maintain a mandaba that we have to see in Madhuri Minakshiaman temple and Ramanatha Swami temple of Ramanathapuram. And the cylindrical type of pillars were introduced. And especially the Trimlenaik palace was built on Indo-Sarasonic style of architecture. And the buildings were built uh, with the great concern and they have to use a different kind of materials for the building construction. Before that, all the rulers and dynasties gave importance for the stone building. And during the period of Nahiks, they have to follow the different culture of construction. They have to use dandikai and gooseberry and jaggery and lime, gypsum, everything they have to put into make a cement and they have to construct it by these things. So everybody have a different culture and tradition to build the construction. And each and everybody starts the construction with the celebration of Vastu and then the later they have to put a pillar and they have put a foundation ceremony and later they have to be finished the thing, they have to conduct the uh, sacrifice, <coughs> conduct the sacrifice and they have um, enter the place into the housewarming ceremony <coughs> excuse me and then after the Nayaks the colonial rule was to be came to Tamil Nadu uh, during the period of colonial time Madras presidency was very much beautified and the city of Madras was very much taking take interest by the British people uh, we have to see the central and Egmo railway stations and in the um, uh, White House, the Tribune building, that is Corporation of uh, Chennai and the Secretariat of Tamil Nadu. These were the finest example of the colonial construction in Madras Presidency. And then the St. Mary's Church at Madurai and the Sacred Heart Church of Idekka Tour, that is Mana Madurai and uh, Albert Victor Bridge built in 1904 at Madurai that were all the finest examples of colonial architecture and they have to build in the different style. They were followed in Italy, France and Gothic style of architecture that were to be shown here. And the British constructed the state buildings, um, especially they have to construct the building for administration not for the purpose of staying and other things they have they want to uh, have a good administration so they want to get uh, built a great sorry a huge uh, buildings for maintaining the administrative purposes and uh, gothic style and italian style of architecture was to be followed in the civil courts public bungalows hospitals and departmental buildings were to be constructed. 
and the finest examples we have to see the colonial period where Lawrence Azilam at Lowdale of OT and then the Presidency College of Senators in the down the first picture uh, is uh, the law <coughs> Lauren uh, first picture is Presidency College it was built in the style of Italian style and the Lawrence Asylum of Lowdale, the next picture, Uti, was to be built on the Gothic style and Senate House, Chepak, Chepak Palace was built on Indo-Sarasonic style and the Pal Chepak Palace was very much beautiful, beautifully constructed, that is purely Sarasonic style of architecture built in Madras. And the present scenario also, the, after the independence, the government took in interest on the architectural buildings and especially the Valluvar Kotam of Chennai uh, as, uh, as to be one of the example in the modern architecture and the Thruvalluvar statue and Vivekananda Memorial Mandaba was also a uh, good features built during the period of uh, after independence. It is built in the ocean of Kanyakumari. The Truvaluvar statue is have 133 feet resembling the 100,330 uh, uh, The feet has to be erected. Uh, it was uh, uh, one of the important and uh, uh, recent uh, uh, achievement of modern architecture of Tamil Nadu. And Next to, uh, to the architecture, the painting got importance in Tamil Nadu. The famous Chitana Vassal paintings and Tanjur paintings was to be a familiar one in, uh, in the paintings of Tamil Nadu. And it is fair. <clears throat> they have to use mural painting, canvas painting and uh, the vegetable colors and oil pastes were used for draw the pictures. And the traditional paintings were mural painting and canvas paintings. And usually the Triviladal Purana in Saivite temples and Ramayana stories in Vaishnavite temples were the stories in the theme of the paintings. And Hindu gods and goddesses, nature uh, like fruits, flowers, uh, mountains, trees, then birds, animals, kings, queens and the court scenes were to be drawn in the paintings of Tamil paintings. And next is, next to the paintings, the culture, uh, so, um, sculpture got importance and the paintings however concerned with the Hindu gods and goddesses, the same way the sculpture the temples and palaces were decorated with sculptures made up of stone, iron, bronze and gold. The sculptors moulded the sculptures of goddesses, god, saints, people, birds, dancing figures, Puranic stories and typical form of using stones and metals. And dancing Nadraja statue and Saptakannis, monolithic ratas, naik rulers, um, along with their wives and Mother Mary statue, Sacred Heart Jesus statue and Thiruvalluvar statues are noteworthy sculptures of Tamil Nadu and mostly the sculptures based on religious oriented and the faces of them were depicted with large eyes and heavily lined features and the whole was remarkable for their hard and formal symmetry and the sculptures resembling the life feelings and emotions of the people even their smile has to be carved very beautifully and we also know the differences of the sculptures uh, between the dynasties like a very simple closed eyes of Pandi empire and later the uh, figures were look very attractive eyebrows and other things of Nayak uh, uh, sculptures were all to be uh, a difference of sculptures seen in different dynasties and they also very naturally the carved the sculptures 
and then the next is fine arts after the sculptures the fine uh, we see the sculptural figures of Ma first figure shows the mamalabram sculpture and second one vijayanagar period sculpture and third one kudumiya malai manmada statue sculpture and the downstairs wafos picture dancing nadraja pose and stucco figures of a towers the mother mary uh, sculpture like indian style and ayana statues in village areas then the sculptural works undertaken by the sculptors at present and next is fine arts tamil people entertain themselves to play and watch fine arts professional artists also there el isai drama or the muttamal linked by liked by tamil people and bharatanatyam is the traditional dance of tamil nadu and important folk dances also played by them dramas and cinemas also played an essential part of tamil country and uh, during the village festivals the folk dances entertain the people first we see the dance forms of tamil nadu bharatanatyam it is a traditional dance both male and female dancers performed this dance with heavy costumes and ramayana mahabharata stories were the main themes of bharatanatyam and they have take heavy costumes from the head to the foot uh, <clears throat> then the folk dances of tamil nadu we come represents the achievements and accomplishments of the folks they 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 men the traditional dance forms illustrate their own lifestyle and experiences depicting their real joy and despair in various forms first we see the karahatam the second and third picture shows this karagam was earthen or bronze pot decorated with flowers with margosa leaves and other flowers it is an example of outward expression of their inward joy for having surviving the calamity to thank the mother goddesses for the giving this climate and the climate should not affect the people for that purpose they are playing this dance <clears throat> for formed it was performed by the folks to propitiate the mother goddesses having saved them from such a calamity and the karahatakara start initial program at the temple and would go round the procession uh, in a village and the mulaipari the grains were to be seed in a small little level that is known as mulaipari was grown and kept in a pot and the dance was dedicated to the goddesses next is kavadi atam Uh, kavadi atam is decked wooden bar with arches decorated with a silk cloth beads and peacock feathers at the both sides it was uh, ends is carried on the shoulders to propitiate lord muruga it is performed during the panguni uttram festival at six abodes of lord muruga like tirupurangundram palani palamudir cholai tirichendur tirutani and swami malai they have to take this dance form with kavadi and the other folk dances puravi atam puravi means hars they have to be made the dance uh, hars like doll uh, and they have to be kept inside and dance inside it known as puravi atam that is poikal kudirai in other term the mail atam mail means peacock the pe they have to dressed like a peacock with the feathers of peacock and they have to danced inside it that is known as mailatam and next is kolatam they have to have two sticks on their hand and they have to dance like this that is known as kolatam and next is parayatam it is another important folk dance of tamil nadu that uh, parai was made with the uh, skins of bulls and they have to be um dra- beat it with a sticks two sticks that is known as parayatam next is a picture shows is the vailatam vailatam played with the um, male and female dancers they have uh, keep kept a small hanky like a uh, cloth and they have to dance to it with a turban and they have to tie the towel like cloth on their waist 
and the dance savakut is played by some uh, uh, people mostly the men danced the savakut in front of the uh, corpse in the funeral they have to danced and send them in a happy way that uh, so that purpose it was played and apart from this some uh, important and lesser known dances also to be that uh, that dances um, kuravanji or pallu dance the kuravanji dance <coughs> sang by kurathi uh, the tribal women gives a picture of their mountain abode and uh, the greatness of her drive pallu a kind of dance drama played by the pallas the agricultural community uh, was also a popular entertainment in which people found their flesh and blood on the stage the dance represents the relationship with the men and his wife with their landlord and uh, mukudar pallu was the best kind of the pallu dance and the silambattam played with the sticks and the dancers kept the um, kept uh, silambam the stick and they how to be danced with the shows their martial achievements and another important dance is nondi attam nondi na nondi attam or the dramatic monologues were also popular entertainment in the 19th century during the paligars period during the time of nayaks they were appointed paligars in the 72 palings of tamil nadu they encouraged the art forms of tamil nadu they might have originated from varikkuthu of the epic uh, mentioned silapathi haram that this dance drama is about a man who becomes rich by committing robbery and spends slavishly on harlots uh, so god he committing a theft in a palace and he was caught for his uh, by the rulers and cut his limbs of a law, uh, lame man he realizes his mistake and finally he become a saint himself and um, realized his mistake and pleased with the repentance so god <clears throat> gives back his limbs and thus the story ends happily this is was played by the people that is known as nondi nadagam and next is terukoothu the tamil drama dances took different forms and shapes uh, became more mere street plays performed mostly by an unlettered few to whom to integrate stage techniques were quite unfamiliar the terukoothu also an important thing uh, the next to the dancers and dramas took different forms uh, during the colonial period the dramas um, in 19th century the english dramas were to be translated and played in tamil and after the self respect movement and dravidian movement the tamil stage was shattered with new themes and radical with, uh, radical ideas unknown to tamil stage they championed the cause of the downtrodden and the women folk stressing social justice and equality after the cinema became the essential part of the life of the people today and they were the dramas played an important role in the freedom movement of tamil people and they have to encourage and inspire the people to do the uh, for to encourage their patriotism and uh, inspire their patriotic feelings and next the music music is an inseparable part of human life and it denotes that which moves or melts the people and no one uh, what exception from this so the tamil people were also fond of uh, very very much fond of music and tamil nadu followed traditional carnatic music ms ms subalakshmi is a famous carnatic singer of tamil nadu and folk music also played an important role in tamil people the musician patronized by the rulers from the ancient period seven important musical notes were mentioned in kudumiyamala inscription it is a only musical inscription it gives seven notes of music that is kumal totam kainilai ulai ili vilari and taram and varieties of musical instruments were also used to play the music some of the instruments 
கொட்டுமுரசு முளவு தனுமை பறை பம்பா மத்தரை யால் ஃப்ளூட் நாதஸ்வரம் மேலம் எக்ஸெட்ரா அண்ட் த மியூசிக் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் வேக் டு பி டிவைடட் இன்டு பெர்குஷன் மியூ இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் விண்ட் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் ஸ்ட்ரிங் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் மெட்டல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் யூஸ்ட் டு பிளே த மியூசிக் அண்ட் சம் ஆஃப் த மியூசிக் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆர் குலவை தாளாட்டு ஒப்பாரி தெம்மாங்கு கும்மி அம்மானை அண்ட் வில்லு பாட்டு இஸ் ஆல்சோ அனாதர் ட்ரெடிஷ்னல் சாங் டு என்டர்டைன் த பீப்புள் டியூரிங் த வில்லேஜ் ஃபெஸ்டிவல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹியர் வி சி சம் மியூசிக்கல் ஃபிகர்ஸ் எம் எஸ் சுபலக்ஷ்மி a famous and carnatic uh, singer and next uh, picture shows billu part they have uh, made a wooden part sorry a clay part and the, the bow like uh, instrument were to be used to do play the music with the harmonium or sing like some instruments were to be used one person explained the uh one person uh, explained the story and others also to be accepting the story and asking questions and it was a popular entertainment during the village festivals and villupattu was also a fascinating pastime to the folk to whom it was a source of joy to the listen to the songs which praised their own heroes it was performed by a group of singers with the bow in front of them attached with a small bells uh, to produce necessary melodious sound needed for such songs and then the uh, bomma uh, next to the temang song sung by pillars during the bullock carts when during the night time for the safe and security they have sung like a temang song it uh, the songs explains the words to help lord muruga to save on the journey and next to talatu songs also to be sung to lull the child into sleep araro ariraro that songs to be starts like this and kulavai the songs also do dur- sung during agricultural operations like pluffing reaping and threshing reveal the attitude of the people tandane tananane tananane tane like that they were sung the song and next to that the opari songs also sung during the funeral uh, ceremonies the simple rustic folk as basically religious expressed their feelings tamil people had acquired a remarkable skill in music from early times during sangam age viral virali viralier uh, panar par porunar were the gifted musicians and poets and the seven notes known in ancient tamil country and varieties of musical instrument were used in sangam age itself 108 musical instruments are mentioned in the epic silapadiharam at the local festivals and individual ceremonies musicians display their talents and percussion instruments are greatly based on the principle of thalam and rhythm and some instruments were named in the ancient literatures tulai karuvi that is wind instruments string instrument narambu karuvi yal and then uh, the kacha karuvi that were used to do play the music and apart from this the people were very fond uh, the music during the time uh, of cholas and pallavas the music played an important role in the spread of bhakti movement during the pallava rule kudumiya malai and thirumaya musical inscriptions only available in india to give the seven notes of music and during chola period music developed into a fine art and temple sculptures depict the musical instruments and musicians uh, of the period and uh, the devaradiyas and uh, Uh, devadasis were spread and promote the uh, dance and music during the period of cholas and later and this is the da song that sung by 
pulley dance that is tiger dance along with the music they have to be so dressed like a tiger and they have to put a black dots by using coal and they have to be danced and sung a song as he he as he liked uh, acted as a tiger and the next picture shows some musical instruments the traditional instruments that uh, the tawul and nataswaram and chinchak and the next figure shows us the kumi songs the kumi songs most uh, uh, sung by all age uh, age of uh, women uh, especially women the men also to be sung this kumi songs they have to form a circle and they have to clap their hands like this side and this side and sung like tanane 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 nane tanane nane tanane nane like that they are sung a kumi song and next is the art of pottery the people were very fond of uh, earthen potteries from the sangam age from the excavations we found at adichanallur uh, we have see the last picture shows the adichanallur excavation findings and the keeladi the at present vaigai river civilization also uh, give a lot of excavation potteries in the black ware and red ware potteries then uh, the potteries were to be designed and used in the pongal celebrations with the colorful paintings and white washed the potteries were designed and they were till they are using potteries in a different shape shows in the first picture they have to be made kundis the uh, flower pots and then drinking water pots uh, then the small bowls everything was to be made in the patris especially the candles like uh, the vilak agal vilak like that they are to be made with the mats and these mats shows the uh, people that is very good for their health and it cooled the body so they have to drinking water in the mats that to be very healthy for them they felt and the uriyadithal uh, the uh, breaking the pot was also to be done during the time of pongal festival on the top the pot was to be tied up in a stick where it has some gifts and money inside it some of them clothe their hands tied up with a cloth and they have to be stuck or break the pot with correctly then they have to be take the gift prize and money everything that is so the people very fond of pottery in everything and the fine arts festivals the people how much they gave importance to the fine arts that same way they want to product the government took initiation to conduct such a festivals mamalabram dance festival for classical dance and natyanjali dance festival conducted chidambaram and the tyagaraja aradhana musical festival was to be conducted and the folk dances were performed in village festivals and temple processions and some in funeral ceremonies also so they conducted fairs and festivals to celebrate and commemorate these festivals they have to be protected in a sustainable way so tamil culture is a uh, tamil culture and heritage is to be the unique one even though the different culture followed in different places in the tamil people are unified and tolerated each other and followed unity in diversity in all their activities in all levels like india tamil nadu also having hill stations deserts and the coastal regions and the valley river valley regions deltas everything and different calamities also to be there different cultural people also to be there the higher caste low caste untouchable everybody was there in uh, tamil nadu but they have to be to tolerated from through the ages the people tolerate each other and love each other and they have given a good hospitality to the Uh, other people and foreign people and they have 
still the continuous changes has to be come and the tamil people who are living in other countries also following the same culture and heritage and tamil nadu government also takes steps to preserve and sustain the tamil culture and heritage even the western culture and knowledge has also to be gained and affect the culture of tamil nadu but still it has its own identity and unique feature that is a specialization of tamil culture so we have to see the tamil culture in a different way and a unique way thank you for all watching this thank you so much thank you one and all